hello and good morning and welcome to weekly vlog number 10 number 10 um i haven't videoed in ages in terms of weekly vlogs the last weekly vlog that i filmed was actually probably like a month ago because i've just been so busy like i haven't had any time but i thought i would carry on with them um sorry that the lighting's bad in here but it's just a weekly vlog um i'm ready for work this is what i've had to work now like a massive fleece it's actually my dad's but I get cold at work so I put this on and um, I thought I'd start the vlog on a Monday uh, a few things to catch you up on which you would have seen one of them which is that my hamster Stanley died if you haven't seen the video where I announced that then go and watch it um I posted it last week it's on my channel and then second thing is that I did get another hamster which I will show you in this vlog so this is going to be like meet my new hamster vlog um but I'll show you that when I get home and actually he escaped his cage this morning he's never escaped before I haven't even had him that long I don't even know how he managed to escape um I can't figure it out but I'm yeah he escaped we'll come to that later on but yeah so um i'm off to work now i am going to be driving to work because i'm going to be practicing driving i stepped um well i started driving yesterday for the first time in like over a year and i picked it up straight away i was fine i haven't driven in over a year um I, by the way i'm a learner driver if you didn't know and um my, my, i had full confidence and i felt quite good so i'll let you know how it goes i'm going to drive like to and from work um like pretty much this week just to get practicing because i really i just really want to do my test and pass it so yeah but anyway welcome to monday and see you when i get home okay i have been back from work for a little while now i drove back in the car and it went well didn't crash so that's a good thing and i've done a workout since then and I'm going to revise for my theory in a minute. I've got my theory test soon. I'll show that in a weekly vlog, which will be coming up in a few weeks time. Stay tuned. Um, but I thought I'd show you my new hamster. Now I'm going to have to insert pictures and videos like over whilst I'm talking because he's asleep right now. So I can't film him right now. And he always comes out at night when it's dark. So great. But yeah, basically, um, if you didn't already know, my previous hamster stanley did pass away like i said um and i have got another hamster i went to pets at home and i bought this little guy so he's a white hamster i wanted to pick a hamster that looks different to all of the rest of them i didn't want kind of a hamster that i'd had that looked similar to others because i've had four hamsters before and three of them looked pretty much exactly the same um and then stanley was black and white so i just got a white one he's completely white and he's got red eyes he kind of looks a little bit like a mouse but he's not he's a hamster and he is obviously small because he's still a baby and i decided to call him fertile i know that's a really weird name if you actually research what that means um it sounds really random because it is but it sounds cute we're going with it um so that's his name and um yeah he escaped this morning and i actually don't know where he escaped from if i'm completely honest i'll show you his case this is my bedroom my bed is on the floor because like my parents did kind of like recently move and then this is his cage over there i made it myself um it's an ikea like cabinet if you want to know how i made this then message me on instagram um but it's got sawdust in it he's asleep in here somewhere so he like burrows down he is very small so that's like a good amount of sawdust for him to be able to burrow um and yeah he's got all his little things in my guess is that he escaped through one of the holes on the top and um, by standing on his home also this gap here that you can see that goes along there is not actually that big it's actually glass above that um as well so just thought to point that out he didn't i don't think he escaped through there if i'm honest um but yeah so i'm gonna have to push his home down a little bit and like put a little cover over that section to stop him from doing that but yeah that's his little cage he is not quite tame yet but then again my um last hamster stanley wasn't tame either and we managed to tame him so yeah when we first got him well when I first got him he wasn't tame and I managed to tame him by giving him treats um, from my hand and he would take it out my mouth and um, Fertile is very um, good at doing that um, he was a bit scared to start with but he's getting better he's really cute and he likes to run around and clearly he likes to explore and escape which is great great start um, I'm just so glad right that he didn't like because he escaped he went out this door there he went all the way downstairs and into the dining room like imagine if he'd like 
gone into my bed whilst I was asleep and I woke up and there was like what I probably would have thought was a mouse on me. I would have just gone and he would have gone and flew and it wouldn't have been good. But yeah, thought I'd show you um, some pictures of him but you'll see him in weekly vlogs to come. So yeah, my new hamster. Hi mum. Hey, Welcome to weekly vlog number 10. You've not vlogged for ages. No, I've been busy. Hello. Hello. Are you telling everybody what happened to little Stanley? I made a whole video on it. Did you? Yeah. When they watched this video, it would have already gone up. Mm. What are you cooking today, Mum? We've got, we're doing, this is garlic mushroom. This is actually lots of lovely fresh mushrooms from Case the Market and I put a tin of mushroom soup in it but I've used it as an ingredient because I've added my own stock. I've added lots of garlic, salt and pepper and parsley and mushroom soup was so bland but then I added my own stock and it was just really really nice and tasty. Would you like to taste some? I'll taste it when I eat it. Oh, <laughs> how about we tag your telly? Tag your telly. Mm -hmm. I'll not be ready in about two minutes. Excellent. Got my face mask on, I should probably wash it off. Face plant to the turd. Hell yeah, I only put it in my tea zone pretty much. Right. I should probably wash it off. The finished result. Ta-da! <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday. Can you actually pronounce the name? Morning. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my makeup on yet. Mum's eating her breakfast. I got my makeup on. She's watching podcast <laughs> episode three. Yeah, and me and Mum have had that for literally. That was ages ago. I've got a cold then. I was ten minutes later up as well, so I was just like, <sighs> you're recording, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Oh damn. Hi there. Right, we need to hurry, hurry, hurry because I'm driving in again. I'll show you me driving in one day when I got my confidence up, even though I am confident, but I'm not going to film myself just in case I crash or something. No, it's fine. Um, I'll do that like next week or something. Um, so yes, um, but yes, it's Tuesday and I'm just packing my bag. I need to water this fuchsia is in here i will show you it was absolutely completely dead like a few weeks ago like so dead like just brown leaves no flowers just pure dead and now it is revived i have revived it i saved him and he's doing good look at all these flowers so i'm going to water him um and yes it's raining outside that's not great um but yeah And then I'm gonna go to work. Right, it's now Wednesday. We have a massive pumpkin here. And this is only a quarter of the pumpkin. That's phenomenally large, isn't it? Yeah. Should I get my head next to it too? Just get the perspective on this thing. <laughs> it's very large. It's very big, no? somebody at work grew this in their garden um and they brought it into work and then loads of people were taking pieces of it so um i had a piece um a piece i had a quarter of one um but yeah i'm gonna try and make like pumpkin soup or something um where can i sit you um that's two that's kind of low um i'm gonna do a face mask now i have three face masks at the minute that i'm using i'm actually getting sent a face mask from a brand very shortly but i won't talk about that now because i don't have it um but i like face masks i pretty much use one five six days a week so these are my current three that i use i have my body shop pumpkin instant radiance in shower mask love that and i've been using that regular regular i also use twice a week the charcoal clay face mask from fresh faced which is my own little skincare business um so i will link it in the description if you're interested i think i use this in this vlog actually um that's what it looks like it is a charcoal clay face mask obviously it's got tea tree in it it's got glycerin in it it's got charcoal in it obviously um green clay powder it's got in it like preservatives and um other things <laughs> can't remember right now but yeah 
that's good for particularly people with oily skin but good for any skin type and a new recent addition to my collection which is what i'm using today is this face mask so this is from the brand september skin which i think is a new brand it was in morrison's and it said new it said it was new and this is what it looks like so this is a happy well this is the happy hydration mask and it says it's got sweet almond oil in it so it's kind of like a thick moisturizer and it says to take like a generous amount. I don't know what a generous amount means, but this is a generous amount for me. And pop it onto the face. And this makes your skin so soft. Now, obviously it does look like a lot of product, but it is a face mask. It's not me moisturizing my skin. <laughs> so it does feel like a moisturizer, but once you've removed it, your skin is so nice and soft. This, by the way, is only four pounds. I thought that was really good. Um, so yeah, go to Morrison's or wherever this is sold. I'm not sure, I just know it is sold there. And check out the range because there's other products as well. Um, but I'm a face mask lover, like I love face masks. Um, oh, also, I do also sell this, which is my detox clay face mask. It's just pure um, French clay. So if you're interested in that, I also do sell that. But yeah, so I've got this face mask on. It says to leave it on for 10 minutes and then wash it off. So my skin will be nice and um, soft after that. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just show you that because four pounds, absolute bargain. As opposed to 18 pounds, but this is really good and it's pumpkins, so it's cool. And um, if you're wondering, my face mask is seven pounds something. So four seven something 18 so yeah i think my face must seven pound 49 or maybe it's something else i don't know go and check it out link in the description i've kind of also switched up my skincare a little bit i'm not going to do a skincare routine um but i'll just quickly show you the products i've been using i start off with the body shop cbd oil i then use this um vitamin c glow radiance like serum thingy i then use the ordinary hyaluronic acid which is amazing for like glowy skin and hydrated skin and then i use this which is um the Lacura overnight repair concentrate i don't exactly know what this is all about um but this makes my skin so soft sorry i don't think i was showing it in the clip um yeah this is what i'm using um and then i use my moisturizer which is from lidl really like this um i will be um but yeah then i've got my mario badescu hyaluronic acid eye cream which i use and that is my skincare routine geez that pumpkin is huge hey what are you watching uh, the end of the joy of painting. We're watching Bob. 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 And then it's location. 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 Wow. Well, thanks. Yeah. Would you like to join? No, thank you. Oh. I'm actually, I need my folders. I need my folders. Today is now Thursday. Hey. <laughs> Pumpkin is still there. I'm going to try and do something with that tonight, so you might see that. How exciting. Um, I'm off to work in a minute. I thought I'd just say hello and welcome to Thursday. Hello. <laughs> hello. I've not had breakfast yet, so I, obviously that's why I'm a bit quiet. <laughs> I haven't had any energy put in. Uh oh, she's My drained. As well. Uh oh, we best go then. Goodbye. Hi, I'm home. <laughs> I'm um, tackling this pumpkin. I'm I trying to cut it. I can't believe that that's just a quarter of it. That's a quarter of the pumpkin. I mean, that's like literally like you're cutting up a whale. That's yeah. massive. I, there's no, like, I, I'm just chopping at it. I really don't know how to cut this up. No, I don't think there is any technique to it. You just gotta hack away, but mind those, mind your fingers, jeez. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, just get rid of this crud. I think that was a big slab of cheese. Took out, great, wouldn't it? Here you go. I took it. Oh no, yeah. I took out all of the seeds. Uh huh. Well, not all of them, most of them. That is quite a considerable amount of seeds as well. So, yeah, I suppose you can wash those and then like roast them in the oven with some like seasonings and stuff. 
you can get flavoured seasonings, can't you? Yeah. Like cayenne pepper and... Difficulties! Difficile! Yeah. yeah. Well, enjoy. Hello! Um, today is Friday, it's now the evening. I'm actually back at my flat at the minute and I'm just making myself some curry noodles. Um, yeah, literally just... Ah! Curry super noodles, something quick. When I'm at my flat, I just do anything quick. Sorry about the beeping, I know it's the battery in my alarm. Um, and here they are. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd do something quick that I can have and I'll watch... I'll watch the very last episode of Parks and Recreation because I've made my way through that on Netflix. <sighs> right, um, oh, heavens above. Sorry guys, I'm in a bit of a rush, I'm not going to lie to you. It's like eight o'clock and I'm just, just, but yeah, um, I thought I'd tell you about my day at work actually. Um, so I might tell you about that. Well, this is cooking. Maybe I'll sit you here. So, basically, um, welcome to my cooking show. Um, basically, today at work, I I shed a tear. I had a tear in my eye. Um, yeah, I work at like a, a company that deals with seeds, barley seeds, and um, basically there's also a field next to us where there's a load of partridges and like pheasants and just birds like that and today some people were shooting them dead not to eat just for fun um and i don't like animals being killed or harmed or anything like that i pretty much eat vegetarian now and since what happened today i'm definitely eating vegetarian unless i'm at someone's house um and they are not cooking me vegetarian food because i'm not going to be like that but yeah, basically um, today me and my work friend was outside, uh, me and her outside the building. Next minute um, we can just hear shooting, which is them shooting the partridges. Um, next minute all these birds fly over um, and one of them had already been shot, not actually like, you know, fell down yet, but it was shot and it flew into, um, just as it was shot, it flew into the building, smacked its head, fell, nearly landed on my friend's head. I know, I screamed because I didn't know what it was. I just seen this like large thing. And um, so I was like, ah! Um, yeah. And then obviously everyone in the offices was looking at me like, what the hell is going on? And then I seen this bird on the floor and it was laid out on its side. Its little eyes were like this. It was clearly in pain, clearly dying. Its little mouth was like... And I just looked at it and I thought, how can anybody like have it in their heart to just shoot an animal for fun? And I just witnessed it dying on the floor for no reason. They just shot it and it's now dead. Or it was dying for about 30 seconds. And it made me really angry. And I just looked at it and it was so cute. And it was obviously like injured and i got really annoyed basically um at that whole situation and i don't care if anyone says like oh it's a sport or whatever like just be quiet because i'm sorry shooting animals and you know especially if you're not going to eat them is just horrible so i don't care what anyone says about that if i'm honest um and yeah it wasn't nice and i did have a little tear because it was upsetting just seeing this little animal get shot it probably had you know, a family maybe, friends, you know. Animals have like a brain. They still can feel things. They still feel pain and they can still suffer. And I just looked at that and I thought, humans are just horrible people. Um, so there we go. Um, that wasn't great. And um, I then made the decision that yes, I am going to be vegetarian. So there we go. That is a solid decision. Um, and yes, I have been eating vegetarian for quite a while with the off chance of eating meat. But I'm now going to be solidly vegetarian um, unless I go to someone's house because um, I just don't want to say like I need to cook me another meal basically. But I'm not going to purchase meat. That is the answer. So yeah. Uh, and then I went back inside in work and about 
for the next three hours I had people saying to me oh um was it you that was screeching outside and I was like yes it was um so yeah um I feel like I'm being quite angry at the minute but I'm just a little bit still quite angry about that if I'm honest um because you know when people say they go bird shooting or whatever you know you don't really think anything of it but I actually witnessed like a bird in front of me be shot and it just fell straight to the ground um it hit a wall beforehand and it was just laid there with its little eyes open and it would have been thinking like what 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 is going on you know and i just think that's horrible and if you're watching this video and you think that's acceptable to like shoot an animal for fun and kill it and not eat it or anything then just please unsubscribe from my channel because I don't want people to watch my videos if that's your opinions. Um, I'm just saying that. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm very annoyed. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, that wasn't great. But other than that, it was an okay day. And um, yeah, so today's Friday. Ha great start to the weekend. Also, I would just like to point out, I'm sorry if I offended anybody or if I was too angry um, and expressing my opinions a little bit too much, but sometimes I think it's a good thing to express your opinions. And also, um, you know, everyone can have different opinions, but I think when it comes to um, like harming animals pointlessly, I think my opinion is correct that that is not right. So, so it is now a Saturday. I have been to the co-op today and basically got myself a san pellegrino and a few like snacks and things it is now the evening i have had just a chill day i've done a workout and random bits and bobs tidying mainly um so i need to take my makeup off but i thought that i would show you something that i've been sent recently so the company blissey have sent me a silk pillowcase to incorporate into one of my weekly vlogs which is what I'm doing so this section of the weekly vlog is in collaboration with Felicity. I am going to be showing this pillowcase in future um, weekly vlogs to update you on how I'm getting along with the pillowcase because it is silk and I've never had like a silk pillowcase before and obviously it's high quality and I'm just gonna see if like improves my sleep or anything like that or if I feel like you know um it does make me sleep better I don't know but I thought I would do a little unboxing in this video I will leave a link to the um their website and to this pillowcase in the description so just go and check out the description but they sent me over this little box which has the pillowcase in it so this is what you would receive it's 100 percent pure mulberry silk which is what it says on here blissey is actually a luxury lifestyle brand and they do sell like other things as well but this is what they have sent me so if we kind of take it out of the packaging this would be quite a nice gift to get for someone as well i think um or just like a nice treat for yourself if you like to have like nice soft pillowcases um but yeah this is the um little pillowcase so this is what it looks like as i said it is silk and it has the brand kind of logo written here um can you see that like just there um so i haven't used this yet i'm gonna try this out on my pillow um tonight and over the next kind of couple of weeks and i'll update you in future weekly vlogs as to how i am actually getting along with this so this is not just going to be a collaboration in this video it's going to be kind of like me just discussing it in the next few weekly vlogs but i thought i would just show it officially in this video so um yeah so this is what you get in the box they're like little tissue paper with their brand name on it and then there's a little card like just in there like kind of like an information card and it says you get beautiful hair glowing skin and the best night's sleep that you've ever had and it just gives you kind of care instructions on the back of like how to wash it and it says to hand wash it for like best kind of results um but yeah so that is what you get so a few benefits of this pillowcase i will just talk about now before i pop it onto my pillow um it says it improves your skin so it says blissy silk fibers are less absorbent than those of cotton allowing your skin to retain more moisture it improves your hair so hair breakage will decrease by up to 43 percent when you sleep on silk because of its smooth surface Three, it regulates temperature. So silk by nature has low conductivity and acts as a thermal regulator. Hypoallergenic, 
silks hypoallergenic and antibacterial properties naturally repel allergens it's non-toxic and it says um, no toxic chemicals or dyes are used in our products so i have my pillow here and i have the current case on it which is completely like my current pillowcase is completely different to this one but it's like just like a cream colored pillowcase so i'm gonna pop the silk pillowcase on and show you what that looks like so this is what my pillow is now looking like oh my god that is so soft that feels so soft i want to rub it on my face but i've got makeup on so i'm not gonna um but yeah oh my god so yeah that feels so soft i wasn't expecting that because obviously if the material feels soft but now i put it on my pillow like silk is well soft that is crazy I feel like my head's gonna slip off the pillow <laughs> um but anyway so yeah it's now on my pillow and i am going to use that tonight now this is gonna be the sort of the end of this weekly vlog but i will begin next week's weekly vlog tomorrow so i will update you in next week's weekly vlog at the beginning on how i slept with that pillow stay tuned if you're interested but i will leave a link in the description to felicity if you are interested in anything that they sell and if you want to try and improve your night's sleep. Also, I recently got sent a few bits and bobs. I am actually going to do a whole video on this um, at some point, but probably not for like another couple of weeks. But I did get sent a few things from Yes Style to kind of try out. They actually sent it to me to make a TikTok video. So not a YouTube video, a TikTok video. But I thought that I would make a YouTube video with them anyway. Um, so they sent the Derma Clear B5 um is that seeker cream i don't know um i haven't tried any of these things yet um the five skin formula toner so it says it's for pore care and sebum control so we'll give that a go they also sent over the velvet lip tint which what shade is this in is there a shade oh this is in the shade ruby pink um sorry if my camera's not focusing then i also which is quite interesting they also sent me this hand moisturizing mask never had a like a hand mask before and then finally this which is the um energy change up cushion which i'm not sure what this is if i'm completely honest like is this a foundation oh yes it's foundation so yeah there will be a review video coming soon where I will do either a first impression of these things. I think I might do a first impressions trying these out soon. So stay tuned. Um, also, I picked up recently a new candle. I got this candle yesterday from Lidl and it is, I think it's like um, cinnamon and apple or apple and cinnamon it's like my it's going to be my christmas candle i picked that up sort of ready for christmas because at the minute i'm using this candle which is what i consider my autumn candle because it's kind of like halloween themed and this is really nice but yeah i need to stop chatting because i really need to crack on so i might um edit this video i might tidy up a little bit and then sort of go to sleep in a little bit so i thought i would end this weekly vlog here next week's weekly vlog is gonna begin on a sunday so tomorrow um so i will see you then not sure when i'm gonna post this video i'm not the greatest for posting at the minute but um i will try and be a little bit better but anyway thank you for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it remember to check out the links in the description to Blissy, and i will see you in my next video goodbye